All right. So look, this lady here is creating a coil pot that's going to build up. You can do this as, as well as a base. So what you do when you create a coil pot is you create a slab and then create the shape that you want. It could be tiny or it could be big. And then you're going to do scoring around the outer edge. Scoring meaning roughing up the surface of the clay. Okay, so I score the outer edge. Then I'm gonna put just a touch of water, not a lot. If it's really moist um, slab, then we don't want to put much, but she had her slab made yesterday. Slab is a flat piece of clay. Now I've got a piece of coil here. I'm gonna ask that Logan grab me some more of the bigger coils at the base of that. Yep, that's perfect. Now we're gonna score this coil. And her piece, she wants it to be like a teapot, so she wants it to come out. So we're gonna put this coil on the outer edge, like that, and then take a tool. She's gonna to support with this part of her hand. She's gonna take a tool and start to blend it together. You can also use your finger, but um, the tool makes it to where you're not taking too much of the clay. I'm also gonna do this on the outer part. Thank you, ma'am. I'm gonna to continue to put coils here. So I, I score it like that. A little bit of water, not much, just a touch. And then I'm going to attach. And when I touch, I'm going to cut mine off. Some people like to just continue. You can do that if you want. I think the video I left for you one time showed just continuing. The reason I wanted to show you this is you see where I have seams. If I keep starting in the same spot, that will eventually break. So my next coil, I'm going to score just a little bit. If your coils are, coils are pretty moist, you can um, actually just continue to build without scoring too much. But you kind of have to watch. And then I'm going to score on this coil and build my next layer here. If I want it to go out, watch this part. If I want it to go out, I put it on the outer edge like that and then blend it. If I wanted it to go in, I would put it on the inner edge and then blend it, but I have to be careful that it doesn't collapse. So if it gets too moist and it starts to collapse, that means you need to let it dry for a day and then build up once it gets more leather hard, okay? And then the outer part we would blend. Do you get that? So remember also, one thing I'm doing that's wrong is you need to have a fabric piece underneath. I forgot my fabric piece. If it gets wet and attaches and the bell rings, you'll be stuck in my room forever. No, I'm just kidding. You can't stay. So we need a fabric piece underneath. You get it? Okay, continue. You can work.